If you're dealing with FPS drops, stutters, or lag while gaming, there's a tool that can unlock hidden performance without overclocking or risking your hardware. It's called Quick CPU. This lightweight utility reveals advanced processor settings that Windows usually hides. Whether you're on a budget or mid-range setup, it helps you take full control of your CPU's behavior, ensuring peak performance when you need it most. Let's break it down. Must work to with the lag and high ping while you play games, so that you need gear a booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your thing, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominates every match. Download this tool easily. Throw the link that I provide in the description and install it. When you launch Quick CPU, you'll land on the main dashboard. This is where you'll find your CPU clock speeds, voltage, core usage, and temperature. But the real game changers lie just below, where you can control how Windows handles your processor during gaming. By default, most CPUs run in a restricted mode to save energy. Windows limits how long Turbo Boost can run and parks unused cores to reduce heat. These are great for battery life, but horrible for performance. With a few safe changes, we'll reverse that behavior. Start by choosing the correct power plan, which plays a major role in how your CPU behaves under load. Open your power options and select either high performance or ultimate performance if it's available. Avoid using balanced or power saver, as these plans tend to limit CPU power and can override any performance settings made in Quick CPU. The selected plan must be fully performance focused for these optimizations to work properly. Set core parking to 100%. Core parking is a feature that disables certain CPU cores when they're not in use, which might save power but causes latency when they wake up mid-game. This can lead to lag spikes or stutters during gameplay. In Quick CPU, set the core parking slider to 100% for both AC, plugged in, and DC, battery modes. This ensures all your CPU cores stay active, responsive, and ready to handle multitasking and demanding game threads without delay. Max out frequency scaling. Frequency scaling controls how aggressively your CPU ramps up its clock speed when workload increases. If it's not set correctly, your CPU may downclock during lighter scenes, causing stutters. Set both frequency scaling sliders to 100%, which locks your CPU to respond instantly with high clock speeds under any load. This keeps performance consistent throughout gameplay and prevents sudden FPS drops caused by unnecessary downclocking. Enable full turbo boost. Turbo boost technology lets your CPU operate above its base speed to handle heavy tasks, but sometimes it isn't fully utilized. Go to the general tab in quick CPU and make sure turbo boost is enabled. Then move its slider to 100%. This guarantees your processor uses its full potential boost frequency during intensive gaming sessions, giving you better frame rates and smoother overall performance. Set performance to 100%. The performance slider adjusts the balance between energy savings and maximum output. In gaming, you want pure speed, so slide it all the way to 100%. This tells Windows and your CPU to prioritize full power delivery over energy efficiency, removing any built-in restrictions that might slow your system down under pressure. Now go into advanced settings, Head to the General tab and make sure the following features are enabled. Turbo Boost, Enhanced Speed Step, C1E, and Bi-Directional ProChot. These features help your CPU manage power effectively while staying responsive under load. Also, make sure clock modulation is completely disabled by setting it to 0%. This prevents artificial throttling that reduces your CPU's performance unnecessarily. Next, switch to the Turbo Limits and Ratios tab. Here, locate the Turbo Power Limit section and ensure both Turbo Power Long Duration and Turbo Power Short Duration are enabled. Then check that the Turbo Boost Power Max and related values are set to high numbers, ideally close to or above your CPU's TDP. This removes power limits that can cut your turbo performance short. Still in the same tab, locate the Turbo Boost Time Window, Turbo Time Limit 1, and Turbo Time Limit 2. These settings control how long your CPU is allowed to stay in turbo mode. Set turbo time limit 1 to at least 1 second and turbo time limit 2 to 0.001 seconds. This trick extends the duration of turbo boost during gaming, helping your CPU maintain higher frequencies longer without quickly reverting to base speed. Once you've adjusted everything, click the apply button to save all changes, then go to options preferences and enable start with windows and apply settings at startup. This ensures your optimized settings are automatically applied every time your PC restarts, so you won't need to redo anything manually. After applying all the tweaks, restart your PC once to fully activate all settings. 
Right away, you'll notice that your CPU maintains higher clock speeds more consistently, frame drops and micro stutters are minimized, and your overall gameplay experience feels smoother, especially in CPU heavy games like CS2, Roblox, Fortnite, and more. And that's a wrap. Apply these changes, enjoy buttery smooth gameplay, and let your CPU run at its full unlocked potential. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if this helped, and I'll catch you in the next one.